So I've got to go and pick up some posts. So I thought I'd do a quick construction update. They've tarmacked the road today. It's nice. Let's go. Let's go get some mail. So for anyone that doesn't know, mail here is done a little bit differently. We do not have a letterbox in our door. All our mail comes to one of these slots. Um, and if you get like a big parcel, you get a key in your slot and you open one of these boxes and it should have your big box in. If it's too big, they take it somewhere. Mom is just in the local like post office-y kind of place uh, downtown. But let's see if we've got anything. Oh, uh, no mail. Oh well, I thought I'd check while I was out. It is only Monday. That's not the real reason I've come out. I've got to go to the UPS store to pick up a parcel from Lush that I ordered. Um, and it's the next junction, so I've got to kind of walk through the roadworks. I may just take the next road along. It's only there. That looks scary. I thought they'd all gone home, but they are still laying the road. So it's out the next morning. The sun is right in my eyes, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, I'm just headed off to work and I kind of wanted to fill you in on the whole package saga because I wasn't able to pick it up yesterday. So as you may have seen from my previous clip, I went down to the UPS store, which is just a couple of houses away from us, to collect the parcel, which is a parcel from Lush that I ordered online that was meant to come to the house Friday now Tuesday and they said they rang me on Friday and said they couldn't deliver it to the house because of the roadworks because of them relaying the tarmac and they couldn't get to the house which is fine so they said they would deliver it to the UPS store instead which I was like okay cool it takes me two minutes to walk there I'll pick her up from there and I tried that yesterday and they wouldn't let me because my ID does not have the address on which is super frustrating. So I took my ID with me, which is my driving license. Unfortunately, it's my UK driving license um, because I haven't changed it over yet. And although it has a photo of me, it has my name, they wouldn't accept it because it doesn't have the address on. I didn't have anything else that had my address on. Uh, she said they wouldn't accept anything on the phone. So if I did have anything on my phone, I tried to show her the emails I had from UPS that they were going to redirect the delivery to that store she wouldn't accept them uh, which I understand the policy but it's still very frustrating so I think tomorrow I am off work I'm going to try and get my driving license swapped over so I can avoid problems like that in the future uh, but for now work and then maybe a trip to Walmart after work to buy some stuff is it just me? Save money, live better. Looks like an asterisk, like it's like, save money, live better. And then underneath in very small print, it says, does not apply to all stores, offer not with any other offers. Right? <laughs> oh, Walmart, you funny. So I have finished work and we're gonna go and buy some things in Walmart. And I've got my reusable bag. I have a backpack, but I have a lot of stuff in it that I generally just carry with me for work, like umbrellas and a small jacket and all this kind of stuff because I walked to and from. I don't want to get caught in any kind of weather. So, uh, we'll see what we can find. So I did pick up a drama set in my little basket uh, that I needed because my one's a bit naff. Uh, but now we're going to find some slippers because my feet hurt on the hard floors and it's quite painful. I really want to get one of these. Oh, they look so comfy. It's just a memory farm. Get these. These are a bit weird. I'm not down with this where your toes are sticking out the end. It's a bit strange. They're just like the little sort of slipper sock ones. I think I'm gonna have to go all out and buy these. I quite like the grey. There's grey, there's like this sort of suede that just look really comfortable. Look how chunky the soles are. They're so heavy for slippers. Oh, they're gonna be so good. Yes, great, I think. Over black, not pink is not me. They look good as well though, I like. Hmm, do you know what? I think I like the beige ones better. Yeah. Comfy shoes. You know you're old when you're buying slippers. Now I just need to find some insoles for my Converse because walking is also hurting my feet, which I think is in foot care, which is like in the main shop. Mm. 
I'm sure I wanted something else as well, but I can't remember what. So I walked all through the cosmetic bit and I think I've had to come back to the shoes because I think this is what I want. <laughs> Yay. So I decided I want to make some cookies tomorrow, which is going to be fun. But I'm going to make oatmeal raisin cookies because I love them. Are sultana raisins not just sultanas? Do you not call them sultanas? Are sultanas raisins? I'm confused. They're normal raisins. They're cranberries. I'm going to get them. Also, continuing with the bean saga. I've had these. They're pretty good. I had the other ones that are not here, but I can't remember what they're called. But somebody said I have to try these. Oh, it's the sausages, the ones with the pork. Maybe they'd realise they're terrible. Why is this? Deep browned. No, we're getting maple. I need to not keep buying stuff. I'm trying to find oats. I would have thought it'd be with the baking, but maybe it's with the cereal, like oatmeal porridge. This is hard. <laughs> I've no idea if I've got everything, but we're gonna buy it anyway. So it is now Wednesday, and I'm just thinking about starting those cookies that I bought all the ingredients for yesterday. But before that, Lush parcel update. So as you may know, there was a whole saga. I tried to go and get my parcel. They wouldn't give it to me because they didn't have the right ID. Last email I had from UPS, who were the ones who were trying to deliver the package, they said they, I think they, it sounded like they'd taken it again, like the lady in the store asked them to, but they just delivered it straight back to the UPS store. So the last I knew, it was still there. This morning, I got an email from Lush saying that it has been returned to them because it was deemed undeliverable, which isn't technically true because it went to the UPS store as far as I was concerned. But Lush now have it, it's in their returns pile and they said they're gonna send me either an e-gift card or refund me the cost of the order, uh, because obviously I didn't get any products. So we mailed them back, explaining the situation, saying it's not their fault, it's UPS's fault, um, and it's fine for them to give me the e-gift card. Annoyingly, there's a, there is a Lush store in London, but I can't get to it. <laughs> so either I'll order it at some point in the future, or I'll get to London at some point, and it will just have to wait cookies. I've got everything ready. Butter, this is almost empty so I think I'm going to have to break into the new one I bought. Uh, somewhere I have, we have some cinnamon. Excuse my vinegar, that's something to find a bottle for. No. Yeah, that's cinnamon. We'll have that one. It says we need to do is preheat the oven to 350, which I can definitely do. Uh, this button, oh look, says 350 already on um, pre winner then it says line two baking sheets with parchment paper i definitely haven't got any parchment paper i was just going to use some butter and hopefully that'll grease it enough but let's see if we've got two baking sheets enough that's more of a tray that's not good for cookies do this one Actually, there's two like this. They look better. Let's use this one. Damn it. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay. So we've got a large bowl and we've got a smaller bowl. All the dry ingredients are going to go in here. So we're going to put the flour, the baking soda and the baking powder, the cinnamon and... So let's use a little bit of salt, and then I think the other bowl will probably be for the eggs. Maybe the sugar. Sugar. Does it look sugar out of the cupboard? Wow, they would have been tasteless cookies. Sugar? Sugar. <laughs> I knew there was something I'd forgotten. That would have been catastrophic right let's do this so it says a cup of flour so i've got my handy little cup measurements is this big one a cup it is and they all come out uh, i'm gonna have to do this off video cup of flour yeah i got flour everywhere that's the stuff the baking soda the baking powder salt and cinnamon that's for half a teaspoon so i'm gonna use these guys that i've had for ages and they're all i can get them to face the right way honestly the big one's a tablespoon 
Uh, that one's a teaspoon. And I have a quarter teaspoon. This is a little bitty one. This one is half a teaspoon. Let's do it. Teaspoon baking powder. Spoon of baking soda. I decided to give up and fall over and knock all my spoons on the floor. Thanks, bro. I know I left you in the cupboard, but it's okay now. You're gonna go in. Teaspoon of salt. And half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Give that a quick mix up. Kind of brown flour. Just so added in the cinnamon. What next? Just realized I need to melt the butter. And now I need to find a pan. I got half a cup of butter in the pan. You can see that it's already starting to melt. Nom, nom, nom. That's gonna be good. Here so far, I got my sugar, which was very uncooperative to go into there. It's a whole egg and then one egg yolk. My butter is just about melted, so let's turn that off. Add two teaspoons of vanilla. I'm gonna add the butter and then give it a good whisk. Be right back. Okay, so what I've made here is gravy. Um, apparently this is gonna turn into cookie. And I need to add the wet and the dry ingredients. It says add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients, but you told me to start the dry ingredients in a large bowl. I would rather add that into that. Ah! And it does say to add the wet into the dry. I'm stupid. Getting there. It looks less like gravy. I need two hands, otherwise the bowl just rotates. Oh, I need to buy a cake mixer. Um, it does smell like cookie dough. It's quite cake mix sort of texture -y. It looks and smells amazing. I've also got the vanilla in there, the cinnamon, uh, the brown sugar. Uh, now I need to add the oats and the raisins. Hey guys! A cup and a half of oats and three quarters of a cup of sultana raisins. And I'm going to try and mix this all in. It seems like a lot of oats. Obviously it's a lot harder to spoon now with all the oats and stuff in there. It looks really good, nice sort of texture, quite thick. Yum. Leave it for 20 minutes. So that's what we're gonna do. Sticky, sticky. Right, let's try and make this into some sort of cookie shapes. Okay, <clears throat> so we do have 18 cookies. The recipe did say it could make 20, but I didn't feel like I could get 10 on each tray with them being evenly spaced. Nine made way more sense. So we're gonna put them in the oven for, it says 10 minutes until they look slightly underbaked. So let's see what happens. Set my alarm for eight minutes, just because I'm going to come and check on them. Um, I am taking the bowl because there's some yummy things in here. Yay! It's been cleaned. Tell me that's not the best bit of bacon. Yum. Like a cool through the oven shot, but I can't see shit. Just how dirty our oven is. Great. Eight minutes. Ooh. Hello, guys. Wow, they've risen like tiny cakes. Okay. Was not ready for that. I'm gonna poke one of you. Ooh, uh, I don't know if you're done. So the recipe said, come out when you're puffed, golden, and a touch underbaked looking. You're definitely puffed. I'm not sure about golden. Let's give you a couple more minutes. Maybe we swap you, I don't know. Ah, sorry, there we go, two minutes. This is the top layer of nine. Let's see if my butter you see it's sort of melted on the tray there. If it worked, or do I need to buy parchment paper? Oh, ha, ha, ha. I'll take that. That's a win. Okay, they're all successfully on the racks. Um, I'm going to try and taste one this afternoon. I have to go and meet John for lunch, so I need to run. Inside my favourite dollar store. Um, I found a can opener, which is a lot cheaper than the one in Canadian Tire. But also, they bought that. But that's hilarious. I bought this one instead. Ta -da! And the one in Canadian Town was about ten dollars more. Do they sell a cookie scoop, which was what was on the thing? What's that? That's an ice cream scoop. Maybe, maybe. Like it. Variety of measuring spoons, which are pretty cool. There's some cool cookie dirts here. There's these cookie dirts, which they look hilarious. Um, and there's a, there's a choo choo special. And then all these letters, which I'm sure you can spell numerous rude words with. No cookie scoop. A gift bag with a really thick picture of a horse on it. It's huge. Wow. I've never been here before and they don't sell bird food. They sell the feeders and the lights and garden stuff, but they do not 
Sell bird seed. Ooh. I couldn't find any bird seed. Uh, they didn't sell it in the dollar store and they don't sell it in shoppers. They sell pet food, they sell cat and dog food, and nothing else. So, shot me walking all the way up to Walmart, which I'm not doing today. Uh, the birds will have to be hungry. <sighs> birds, who am I kidding? It's the chipmunk. Um, he will have to be hungry for today and I will pick some up when I finish work tomorrow from Walmart. Uh, so now I'm gonna go home. We're gonna try a cookie and then we're gonna chill for the rest of the day because it is my day off and I've done a lot. So I'm back home. I'm gonna try one of these cookies. They do look very golden brown. The bottom is nice. Like, you can hear that. It's a good, good cooked bottom there. As Bake Off would say, not a soggy bottom. Um, they look plenty of raisins in there. You can see the oats. I'm gonna try it. It's good. It doesn't taste like a cookie. It should be faster. But the recipe told me to roll them into balls. It's good. It's more like a cake. It's very cakey. That's not. Right. Like, into the inside of that. All right, it's quite. Meh. Yeah, it's still good. Yeah, they're still, I mean, they're cookies. They're still good, but they're not cookie enough, you know? Mm, maybe we try again next week. Um, not sure what I did wrong. <laughs> I think they were too thick, but maybe the balls I rolled were too big. But, don't know. Don't understand what happened. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a little bit of a mishmash just because nothing super exciting is happening this week um please give a like and a comment happy to answer any questions that you may have about my new life in canada uh, me moving over here and all that kind of thing um if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe because it makes me happy and um we'll see you all soon in the next video i uh, thank you i love you uh, bye